Hey guys, it's Vicki. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Goodwill bins and Goodwill retail store haul. So if you would like to see what I picked up, then stay tuned. Okay, so I have a lot to go through. Um, this is probably like a couple days worth of stuff, so it may be a little long, but I'll try to speed it up as much as I can. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get right into it. Um, I got these off the dollar rack at Goodwill. This is a Banana Republic. Uh, it's a polka dot dress. It was a cute little dress. So it's just a short dress, really cute. I didn't see any issues with it, so I grabbed it up. Um, and as always, I'm going to be putting the sole comps in the bottom corner. The next dress that I found, I'm going to have to try to stain treat, but I didn't want to leave it because I do have somebody who's always after, um, Ivanka Trump stuff. This is a medium though, but since it's a dress, it may not matter, but, um, this is an Ivanka Trump dress. I do like to pick up Ivanka Trump everything because it does pretty well. Um, so this is just a basic black, it's kind of a stretchy dress. I would expect at least $20, $25 for this. Um, some of her stuff sells for a lot more. I have sold tops um, for like $30, I believe. But anyway, I'll show you the problem, if you can see it. There's some discoloration on one of the straps, so um, I'm going to try my hardest to get that discoloration out. If not, then I'm probably just going to go ahead and list it as is and let them know that there is some discoloration. Um, and I'll just sell it really cheap. At least make my money back. Alright, this is a Zara Basic. It's just a Zara Basic blazer. And it's kind of a stretchy... Well, I guess it's not really stretchy, but what is this material? Mm. I don't like Zara's tags. They have so many tags. Um, in so many different languages. Acetate, so it's acetate. But yeah, so it's just this little coral colored blazer. It looks like it's like, it looks like rayon kind of that stretchy. Anyway, this was on the dollar rack as well. And I found this on the dollar rack. It was just a basic shirt, but it's, it's a Neiman Marcus shirt. Not that that's anything special, but um, it was in good condition. And I thought it was cute with the little designs on it. So I went ahead and grabbed that up. And then last on this little bag here, it says it's Alternative Earth. I thought this was a Pure Bar shirt because of the P. I'm pretty sure it is. I don't know if, if you know, let me know, but I'm pretty sure it is a pure bar shirt and I usually have no issue selling those for 15 to $25. Um, I will try to find this exact shirt. It does have some pilling on it, which honestly a lot of people don't really care about that it seems, but um, I do use my fabric shaver. My fab, <laughs> that's a tongue twister. That's really weird my fabric shaver on these things. If it doesn't work, then of course I take very close-ups. So if it doesn't work, then I usually take close-ups. I can't talk today. I take close-ups of the fabric so they can see how bad the pilling is. I don't really feel that it's bad, bad, bad. I mean, the sh what I'm wearing right now is about as pilled as this is. And I mean, it doesn't bother me. But some people are very picky. They don't like that. I don't blame them. All right, so this, my eight-year-old picked this out. Now, we were at Goodwill's retail store. This one was $6.50, um, but it was too pretty to pass up. It is this all sequin dress. Um, it is vintage. There is not a brand label inside of it, but it just says that it's silk and rayon lining, made in India, professional dry clean, dip in petroleum solvent, minimum extraction, air dry, do not tumble, press with cool dry iron inside, no steam. Size 910, but it's got like beading around the collar, there's also beading around the bottom, and there's also beading around the sleeves, but it was so pretty, all these colors, I definitely felt this was something good to grab up. The worst part is gonna be 
photographing all this stuff and listing it because I have like two or three bags still downstairs full of stuff that I haven't even done yet and I've got to get it done um, but you know I'll have plenty for this whole summer slowdown people keep talking about all right so the next item that I got this I believe I found this at the bins um, and it's funny because the tag that's on it actually is a tag that they use at another thrift store that I go to a lot so obviously somebody bought it and then I guess donated it I don't know if that's a good sign or not but um, it is a, it's in Spanish, it says Tejido Violeta something something, and I, you know, I'm not fluent, I know French, I don't know Spanish. Um, but this is the tag, if you're familiar, let me know. But I thought it was a cute little sweater, it has like a little house on it, and I don't know if there's a trees or mountains in the background, but it was really cute, and it was nice, and I'm pretty sure it says it's 100% wool, I, I mean, I'm pretty sure. But there's like purple threading over top of where it says the material. So I'm going to have to probably cut that off to see what it is. The next thing, I just picked up this because, you know, I'm a Friends fan. It's just this Friends, um, it's by Pull and Bear. It's just a Friends t-shirt. A lot of people love Friends. Um, definitely won't fit me. But I'm going to list it and see. I picked up this Budweiser hat. Um, I, I did see one that was listed for $40 still, which um, this one was from 1994. So it is a vintage hat. Um, it's in really good condition. So I thought it was worth picking up since it was at the bins. This needs a little bit of snipping and clipping. It's a Lucky Brand sweater. I do need to fix it up a little bit. Um, but it's just a like a mustard yellow marigold, I guess is the color. Really pretty. And there's a few of these on Poshmark right now. They're just sitting. So, you know, a lot of this stuff, I feel like I should wait and list stuff later once, you know, it gets a little cooler outside. But... There's another part of me that's like, no, just go ahead and list everything now. And I have been listing some coats and stuff like that just to go ahead and get them up, even though I'll probably have to relist them a few times before it gets colder outside. But, you know, whatever. All right, this is a Carol Little. Does not have a very high resale um, price, but it was just a cute maxi skirt, and I thought it was pretty... Um, I like these types of maxi skirts. To me, they look like, you know, just a bunch of different materials thrown together, which is what it is. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really like that. Who is texting me? Urban Outfitters. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, this is a... It's vintage, apparently. I guess. The tag looks vintage. I don't know what size it is, though size 10 but yeah just a long maxi skirt this one is another one that needs to be kind of cleaned up a little bit with the fabric shaver and all but it's a denim and supply which I love to pick up denim and supply especially their floral dresses if you ever run across the floral baby doll dresses pick them up because they really do sell for like 30 to 40 dollars on Poshmark um, it just depends on the style because some of them will sit for a little bit, but they will sell. So keep that in mind. Um, but this is what the tag looks like. And it's a camouflage sweater. So I had never seen one like this. I thought, well, you know, it's cute. At the bins. Try it out. This one has a low resale value, um, I saw. But... I got it from the bins. That's the only good thing about the bins. Like, it doesn't really matter, like, if it's a $10, you know, sell price. You're going to make still a good bit. Like, I probably paid less than a dollar thirty-nine for this. So, I mean, come on. It's fine. So, it's just Mickey Mouse um, bag. It's got, like, the spot that you put your identification on. It's really clean. The thing about this is it actually unzips around. And if you're familiar with Disney stuff, you probably have already seen these. I've already seen a couple of them. But it zips all the way around. And then it extends into a larger bag, 
with Mickey Mouse on it. So this is a, I guess this is denim. I don't know if it's chambray. I think it is denim. So yeah, it's like a denim canvas bag. This one I'm going to attempt to clean um, just because it, it has some staining on it a good bit. It is a Lucky Brand sack, but as you can see, look at that staining. It's pretty rough, like front and back. It's it's rough. So I'm even though it's leather, I'm gonna still throw it in the wash. I'm gonna stain treat it and everything. And, you know, maybe it'll come clean. If not, you know, that's fine. I might possibly, like, try to do some, like, fabric dyeing. I, I've been looking into little things I can do to try to upcycle things. I don't know. I, I'll i figure it out. But if not, I'll redonate it. It's whatever. It's a nice bag if I can get the stains. Alright, so these are a pair of Steve Maddens. These are in really good shape for the fact that I found them at the bins. Um, they are a leopard print heel. They have these pretty little bows on the back. So it's kind of like the sling, sling back. But yeah, so the bottoms are in pretty good shape. These are size... Um, 7.5. These are the Mevas. So, cute. Um, I did grab these. There's a few spots of wear on, well, there's a spot of wear right here. As you can see, this little area here. Um, but these are Lucky Brand. Um, they're just a pair of boots. I don't know if these are kids' boots or not. They're pretty small. If not, they're like a size five and a half or something like that, which, you know, smaller sizes do sell. This is a size five and a half. So yeah, smaller sizes definitely do sell, but they do sit a little bit longer. Um, and you would be shocked though, sometimes smaller sizes will sell really fast because most people focus on the larger sizes. There's plenty of people in this world with smaller feet and they can't find shoes. It's kind of like people with really, really large feet, they have trouble finding shoes. It's kind of the same both ways, so. Um, but yeah, I got these little boots, Lucky Brand, got to clean them up a little bit, and of course, um, explain the wear on these little corners. I believe this is a fossil bag. I find a lot of fossil bags, and this one, I'm pretty sure it's vintage, but it's just a fossil bag. It is... Just a basic brown bag. I don't think it's leather. It feels kind of like a woven straw type feel. Let me see what this little tag says here. All it says is it's made in China, so I don't know. I really don't know. But we'll see. I might keep it. I mean, just because I kind of like the style of it. It's just kind of basic, but it's got a lot of space on the inside, so. I have been trying to downsize right now. I'm carrying this huge Badgley Mishka, I guess that's how you say it, um, that I got from Goodwill. It's a beautiful purse. It's a black leather purse, um, but it's just so big. Like, I lose everything in it. So I'm definitely looking to downgrade. So I may keep this myself. All right. I did not mean to put this one in my bag, but it ended up in there anyway, and I don't remember what this was. Oh, goodness. RN number 100622. Yeah, I don't remember, but it is a genuine leather bag. It's just a crossbody bag. Just a black leather bag. It'll be on my Poshmark for pretty cheap. Because I don't think it was anything like, you know, spectacular. I grabbed these glasses because they have polka dots on them. I don't know if they are anything good but anyway they're just these cute little like pilot glasses I guess you call them but they have polka dots on the sides so I thought those were cute the only reason I got this was because it was new with tags and it retailed for like $69 um, and the clearance tag was 11 or $13.80 so I was like well you know I can post for like 10 bucks you know it's fine 
but it's just a Simply Vera Wang, so that's one they sell at Kohl's. Um, it was in good shape, brand new tags, so that's another one. And I looked up this brand, and it I had never heard of it. There's a lot of them on Poshmark, but the brand is called Down East. And I thought the dress was lovely. I mean, it's very... It's just really pretty. It's just a floral dress. I am a sucker for floral dresses like this. Um, it's kind of got like a ruffle thing going on the bottom. Really cute. Um, and it is a women's dress. It's a size medium, so it's kind of a shorter dress. Um, really good for spring. Um, even summer, though. even Or fall. Um, it's very lightweight and thin. It's not too heavy. So... I got this from the Goodwill Retail Store. This is another Ryu brand. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw that I posted a Ryu dress the other day. Well, I got this from the same store that I got that dress. So it could have probably been like the same person stuff. But this is it, Ryu. I'm not sure, I'm not 100% if it is Anthropology sold. But a lot of people are putting that it is from Anthropology. So I'll have to investigate that. I really hate to just follow everybody else because they say um because you know people do make a lot of mistakes on Poshmark so but it's just this pretty little cardigan um thing <laughs> just cute it definitely needs to be washed because it smells like it's just been sitting inside of a storage shed or something I mean not like a terrible terrible smell but okay, so the next thing I have are these boots now I don't know if these are men's or if these are women's but they are genuine leather and they do look older to me um there's no brand name in them um there's some numbers at the top where it does say genuine leather but i cannot make out the size i cannot i think it says 10 honestly it looks like it says a 10. so it's these boots um they're just basic leather boots i thought they were in really good shape and there's just something about the style i feel like people they like this style like this would look really good with like uh like a maxi skirt or something like a you know a boho type clothing i think um but yeah so i picked this up i'm still trying to figure out what size it is i did try to fit my foot into it i don't think i tried hard enough but i have these nails and it's really hard because you have to hold on to these straps on the inside to pull them up and it hurts my fingernails <laughs> whenever i try to put it on so i don't know if i'll be able to 100% guaranteed it's a size 10, but I think it is a size 10. I mean, it, it looks like a size 10, and yeah. Alrighty. Now, this is some stuff that I got today, and the first thing is the purse. This is Papagallo, made in Spain. It is just a little shoulder bag. vintage piece I would probably put on eBay but um yeah it's in really good shape I'm, I'm pretty sure this is leather it's kind of thin right through here so definitely going to go on eBay um I got this from the bins this is a LuLaRoe extra small dress and it's one of those I forget the style I will definitely look it up um some LuLaRoe stuff I cannot for the life of me figure out what the style name is even though there's so many pictures online it's just i can't um but yeah so it's really cute it's either i don't even want to, I'm, i'll figure it out <laughs> all right so these are william rast founded by justin timberlake and tracy ayella these are high-rise shorts they are denim cutoffs but they have embroidery and they have studding on them so i was like these are cute i figured somebody would definitely want these um, I didn't see any issues, no holes, none of that kind of stuff, no staining. I do obviously want to wash them, um, but yeah. And then I found a pair of black ones that were obviously owned by the same person. Just another pair. These are black high-rise shorts, cutoffs. So yeah. Um, this is a silk dress by Trio New York. And it has the belt, hallelujah, something I never find. And it's just a basic pretty yellow uh, button-up dress, but it is silk. 
it's that pretty it reminds me kind of like my grandmother's curtains that she used to have her drapes that she had on her window it's got that that you know lines in it i don't know what you want to call it but um yeah it kind of reminded me of that but it was in excellent condition and it had the dry cleaning sticker still in it this is a brand that i had never heard of but i was comping it and i was like well these like shirts are selling for like 30 to 50 dollars like i might as well just go ahead and grab it and take a chance this is david klein and i believe it is a dress it's just a little tiny short dress thought it was really pretty thin um but yeah so we'll see how that does brand new brand for me and then my sister found this it's a mark new york a leather jacket it's not pleather it definitely says leather um but somebody said that there's some kind of there's no guideline where they have to be honest about it being leather or something like that i don't know i don't know where i saw that i saw that in some video but i mean it smells like leather it's definitely leather but it's just this beautiful jacket it's in excellent condition there's no scratching on it it's like perfect and it feels so soft so this is mark new york i have a dress by him as well in my closet right now um, this is another brand I've never picked up before. This is Hayden, Los Angeles. It has pretty decent comps as well. Um, but it's like a little halter, a halter dress, I guess you would call it. I mean, it, I guess it could pass as like a tunic as well. But I'm just going to say it's a dress, like a little mini dress that goes around the neck. So, yeah. These are hippie laundry. Hippie laundry, I've never heard of it. But it's just a black cut-off mini skirt. Oh, I didn't mean to pick this up. This is an American Greetings. It's just a tie. Uh, there was a bunch of random Christmas ties. And it's got, like, um, Christmas presents on it. But there was, like, a peanuts. And, but they didn't really have good comps. So I was like, eh, I'm not going to waste my time. But I, I apparently left that one in the bag. All right, so the next item I have here is a Chelsea and Violet. And it is this pretty little top. I don't know if I can get it right so you can actually see what it looks like. But this is the front. And it's kind of cut out on the sides. It's got like the fringed hem, I guess you call. Yep. All right, so that's what I got today. Two more bags. I'm almost done. <laughs> All right, so this was from the other day. Um, this was a J. Jill New with Tag scarf. I just went ahead and got it. It retailed for $39, so I said, may as well. This is Vanity Fair. It is vintage, and I don't know if it's a nightgown or if it's a dress. I think it's a nightgown. But at the same time, it could be a dress. It definitely smells like it's been in somebody's closet for a long time. I did not see any holes, any any problems with it at all. Um, I'll definitely wash it, and then I will get it posted um, once I figure out what it is. I think it's, I honestly think it's like a house dress type thing. But then again, maybe women wore that type of dress back in the day. I don't know. <laughs> um, I found this one at the bins. It's just another fossil purse. This is fossil 1954. It's just a tiny crossbody leather purse. It's very small. Um, but yeah. And then I found these Birkenstocks. But unfortunately, when I got home, I was like, these are really, you know, they're in okay shape. You know, they're not too bad. But then I looked and I saw that. I was like, oh, it's a crack in the in the heel like I don't know I don't think anybody would want to buy it like that but I don't know I'll look at comps and see what condition certain ones sold in but I'm pretty sure nobody's gonna want them but like overall they're in pretty good shape um you know when it comes to the leather itself but yeah definitely the cork is it's seen better days so um I don't know we'll see I don't know what I'm gonna do with that all right and then this bag is what i got today as well and this is the last bag all right 
so the first things I got were these sandals. They are Ivanka Trump. I paid two dollars for each pair of shoes I'm about to show you. So they are Ivanka Trump. They're just cute little uh, strappy sandals. They're in excellent condition. In fact, I don't think they've ever been worn. They are nine and a half. Um, style name is It Pasha. It Pasha. But yeah, I mean, those are cute. And these, I believe, are sold at Anthropology, but I'm not 100% sure. It's made in Spain, size 36. These are the Chio. Um, I guess you can see that. I see a glare. But they're these cute leather sandals. They were in perfect condition, so I went ahead and grabbed these. I don't think they've ever been worn either. If so, very, very minimally. Um, I found this Scala dress, <laughs> which still has the new tags on it. It's a size extra large. It retailed for $134 at JCPenney. Um, it's a beaded dress. The man at the register was rude, basically telling me that I was fat and that he hopes that I'm able to get into it. And I was like, whoa. But anyway, um, you know, it was cheap, so I don't care. <laughs> Call me fat. It's fine. So it is this pretty beaded dress. It's very, very long. I did not see anything wrong with it. I think somebody just bought it and then never wore it, but it is the Scala. I've been getting a lot of vintage dresses. I love them. And that's all I can say about that. <laughs> um, I found a pair of Uggs. These are the Ugg, um, what are these called? Clogs? Or no, mules. Um, but yeah, so they have like wood on the bottom. They're in pretty good shape. Um, they are size, size 8, which is a good size. Um, but yeah, both of them are in pretty good shape. They definitely could use some, you know, conditioning because the leather's kind of hardening, I guess you'd call it. But, um, yep, $2 for those as well. Um, I found this Free People dress, and this is an old Free People dress because I have never seen this tag before. This is Free People, and it is this purple, like, tiered, just a little short dress. Purple dress, that's it. Won't go for much. Definitely won't go for much. Um, but yeah, that was $2. And then I paid a dollar for this one. This is a Go Fish clothing and jewelry company dress. I love the style of it. It's very boho. <laughs> Um, so it is got these sleeves that are like see-through, big fat sleeves. It's got this beautiful flowy skirt to it, colorful, floral, and then it buttons up. I want to say it's linen. Ah, it's rayon. Um, handmade in Indonesia. So it feels like linen, but it is not. So that's okay. But anyway, I thought it was adorable. And that is it. That was everything. So, um, I know I need to calculate up everything, but I'm kind of lazy and I don't want to do it today. So I hope at least the sold comps that I listed on the screen help you. Um, they definitely help me because I, I basically, this is part of my listing process. I make the video and then I go back while I'm editing and I look up comps and I go ahead and write out my information. It's kind of cool to be able to do it like that. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did be sure to subscribe um give me a thumbs up and click that notification bell so you can be notified whenever i have new videos coming out um i try to do a video a week but sometimes you know life gets in the way so i don't have like a steady schedule but i am trying really hard to do more videos so i have a little i guess i do want to call it a series i don't know i have some videos planned um that are going to be my eight-year-old picking out clothes so like once a week or something she's going to go with me thrifting and i'm going to let her pick out clothes to resell she's been wanting to resell clothes for a while um and i was like you know you're only eight years old but she does have some good taste for an eight-year-old she does find some stuff but she's just not as observant for holes and things like that she looks at it and she's like oh i like this 
Um, and yeah, she's picking out things that she likes and I think she has good taste. So I'm definitely going to put those videos up very soon. So, um, that's it. I hope you all have a great night and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.